inserts the use of binding medications such as colostyramine or Wellcol is essential to reduce the inflammatory response that makes us feel chronically sick. But patients like me can sometimes experience a temporary worsening of symptoms at the beginning of treatment. The mobilization of biotoxins can temporarily trigger innate immune activity as it sees all of these compounds being forcefully pulled out of your liver and your cells into your digestive tract. Now there are a few things you can do if these intensification symptoms are too disruptive or if they become too prolonged. First and foremost, you want to make sure you're not dealing with ongoing biotoxin exposure. This is often the main reason why people feel worse during binders, especially when symptoms are prolonged. Remember that this treatment is primarily about calming down an abnormal immune response and not about toxicity. If the body perceives threat during that process, it simply won't move forward with healing. Second, start with smaller doses and slowly work your way up. When I first started binders, I had to break my vocal tablets into tiny pieces and dissolve them in water. And from there, work my way up to full dose over the course of two to three weeks. And lastly, prior to starting binders, you can consider doing a regimen of high dose of lipid supplements such as fish oil, balance oil, and phosphatidylcholine, or a preliminary low dose of vasoactive intestinal peptide or VIP nasal spray. Both the lipids and VIP can help prevent these intensification symptoms if used properly. Make sure to talk to your practitioner about each of these options.